give a call to the honourable member for Kennedy. Prime Minister, a farmer ploughs, tilts, fights disease, weed, irrigates, fertilises, harvests, cleans and delivers to stores. Cold and worthless, pay the farmer 49 cents a potato, put it on a shelf and charge customers $4.50, an 800 per cent marker. Their CEOs get $10 million a year. The vanishing checkout check gets 50000 In 1990, they had 50.1 per cent market share. 2001, they had 70.1 ABS ANOP figures. At this 2 per cent a year, they're over 80 per cent. PM, if divestiture, if divestiture, won't you be like Roosevelt, have your face carved on Mount Remarkable with Tavitra, <laughs> Ralph Honor and Red Ted Theodore? <laughs> one, of, one of the best. Give a call to the Prime Minister. Thank you for the unique member for Kennedy uh, for uh, that, uh, that question. And indeed, the member for Kennedy is many things. I would describe him absolutely, though, as fair income, about his commitment uh, to his electorate, his commitment to people, whether they be farmers or miners, uh, whoever they are in his seat. He's a champion for his community and the issues that he raises here about Australian producers and farmers, uh, the feeling that they don't get a fair shake from the product of their work, I think he's spot on. Uh, when uh, farmers are getting less money for their product, whether it be a potato, as the one that uh, he used, or any other veggie or, or product, uh, then uh, you would expect that to translate into cheaper prices at the checkout. And the truth is that it hasn't done so. And that is why uh, my government's determined uh, to hold them to account. That's why we've got the ACCC uh, conducting an inquiry. They'll produce an interim report uh, as well as then a final report. Uh, the options that are open for them are, of course, uh, we've already increased penalties for anti-competitive conduct. Uh, we've already banned unfair contract terms. We've set up a competition task force in Treasury, which is actually considering Australia's merger laws. And the government has also uh, charged former competition minister, Craig Emerson, with reviewing the food and grocery code at the moment. Uh, that is a voluntary code. And we're looking at whether mandating uh, is necessary there as well. Uh, I note that the Leader of the Nationals has said uh, that the Coalition were too slow when they were in government and the Nationals wanted to move at a lot quicker pace in terms of a compulsory grocery code. Well, we haven't got the Liberal Party holding us back, I say to the Leader of the Nationals. Uh, so, oh yeah, they're, they're, hero they're heroes in opposition. They just didn't get around to it. Order. They, the, they just didn't get around to it. The leader of the nationals in the will ten cease years that they, that they were in government. Order. That they were in government. So what we'll do, uh, the member for Kennedy, is certainly respond uh, to any recommendations that are made, including including recommendations by the A C. I Treasury want to uh, continue to work uh, with the member for Kennedy. Um, I'm not sure I'll continue to work on some of his creative suggestions that he's made to the landscape of uh, far north Queensland Order. up there. Prime Minister's time has concluded.